Why do some people get great results from a calorie deficit and low-fat diet while others don't? Before we get into this video please consider subscribing for more facts and reviews videos. Thank you. This idea is pushed by the media as an easy solution to weight loss, but doesn't consider that this could be a much deeper problem. Rapid weight loss isn't all it seems. The Biggest Loser USA was a popular show a few years ago pushing contestants to their limits. The contestants endure this physically and mentally draining process, as the winner receives a large cash prize. It sounds too good to be true. It's hard not to be amazed by the contestants and their stories, but what we see on TV isn't the full picture. These shows create very misleading nutrition and fitness advice. For many contestants, this is a short-term weight loss, and some put on even more weight when they finish the program and return to normal life and eating habits. Yes, scary to think they were trained by professional celebrity personal trainers who know what they're doing, right? Some weight gain was so bad that the show was cancelled. So, why does this method of starving yourself, training every day and eating a low-fat diet not work long-term? The body fights weight loss hard, especially after a grueling diet and exercise plan. Dieting causes a series of complex biological changes. Hormones tell your body to burn or store fat. Stress from starvation increases cortisol, a fat-storing hormone. When your body is under high stress, being chased by a tiger or getting a bad email from your boss, cortisol and adrenaline kick in. Cortisol is trying to help you by holding on to any fat it can because it thinks your body will starve. This rapid lack of food and low-fat diet has kicked it into overdrive. Young people who haven't damaged their metabolism with dieting and sugar have less chance in gaining fat. This changes as we age, especially if we have gut issues or damage our metabolic rate. Our metabolic rate is how fast our body burns calories. You may be able to use the calories in calories out method into your 20s and 30s if you have a great metabolism, but most stressed out busy professionals can't. When someone is trying to lose weight, you have to consider several factors. 1. The aging process of hormones. 2. The health of the metabolism. 3. A person's life stress, for example, job, children or other stress factors. 4. The foods people eat to either trigger fat burning or fat storing. 5. Medical and family background. 6. How healthy they are. They could have underlining medical issues such as low thyroid or an autoimmune condition. When someone says weight loss is a matter of calories in equals calories out, they have not considered these important factors. Working out and dieting by restricting calories doesn't always work. You need to think holistically and individually, not just copying other people's diets. By managing your stress levels, eating foods that are right for you, and exercising with appropriate intensity. Please like and subscribe for more health tips and check out the other health-related videos.